by Christmas. And who wants to go to Waffle House? There's a bird in the garage. I'm gonna steal some time on the show. Shimcast has got mail. We have to take down all the Christmas decorations. Oh, hi, baby. that we need to take off is the tree topper. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's great. Uh, we could either just burn it in the fire pit or just carry it in the forest. What do you want to do? Let's just carry it into the forest, just dump it. Yeah, I guess burning it will just like, uh, you know, put up too many uh, CO2 emissions and yeah. uh, piss off AOC. Wait, let's go. Let's Okay. Here we go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Christmas. We'll pick you up next year for Christmas. How about that? Careful the shit. Are you destroying the Christmas tree? You want to burn it? When it rains. We can't do it now because the embers will go and start fires. First, you don't invite me to Waffle House. I didn't do that. Then, I'm walking through the basement and I see you Grinch-ass mofos destroying Christmas. No, Andy and Lydia went to Waffle House. I've never been. You've never been to Waffle House? I told you this. I've never been to Waffle House. Was that I never... today? You told me that like months ago. I assumed in the intervening time you'd gone. Do you want to go to Waffle House? Sure. Let's go to Waffle House. I'm so down. Who wants to go to Waffle House? There's a bird in the garage and we're going to try and work as a team. There's a bird in the garage. We're going to try and work as a team. Me and Bucko to get him out. Or her. Oh, Bucko. There's a bird. Do you see it? Well, I don't see it, but you might. Oh, there it is. What? What? What's that? He sees it. He sees the hell out of it. Oh! Bucko, we can't skate with the bird in here. Oh, dude, he's totally seeing it. He's wagging. Go get it. He's looking for approval. Yes, me. Hold a bird's nest through where the air conditioning goes in your house. Yeah. And I woke up to the cat 10 feet in the air chasing this bird on my bed. I'm like, what the hell? Baco. Is he afraid of the bird? No. No, he can't reach it. All right, well, I guess I'll. Ow. I'll do it. Careful. No, I. Do you guys see it? Nope. Ooh, I see it. He sees me too. I think Bucko's over it. He probably is, but he's not leaving me until we get this bird out. Because he got us into this mess. He just bounced over there now. I think we're just going to open the garage. Because, uh, 
he is hiding from me and I can't even see him. Oh my god, he's already over there. I can't carry this around all day, so you know. It's gonna take the easy way out and see if he'll do the same. Yeah. Oh no. Who's that? Is that Bucko? What's he doing here? We thought he might be abused. What kind of party is this? Work as a team. He's already killed one. Just kidding. I don't know what that is. It's not brothers though. For me, that works too. Hey! This is like getting a guitar pick stuck inside of an acoustic guitar. This is what this feels like, but like in giant format. Feels like we're in the guitar right now. He hates it out here. Yeah. He's pissed. What do you want Bucko, to do? Make the jump. He doesn't <laughs> want to. The cat looking disdainful. He's the real boss on the organizational chart. He's on the same line as Tim. We all answer to Bucko just like we answer to Tim. Except we don't let him out because he's going to go out and kill something or be killed. Anyway, I got this amazing mosaic that somebody made for me. Um, she read my Instagram. She found his name. His name is Dippin' Dot. His full name is Dr. Sergeant Commander Dippin' Dot, but I'll, I'll accept this title as well because she was so thoughtful. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like opalescent. And he has little whiskers that move like real whiskers. It's the neatest thing in the world. And I am going to show it on the show tonight. And I want to give a shout out to this lady because she took the time uh, during lockdown and she made like this big collaborative art project that I want to learn more about. I need to follow her on Instagram for sure. I'm excited. Her name is Lori K. Farr and she makes these personalized pet mosaics. So neat. During the shutdown, my classes were canceled and I came up with a collaborative mosaic project to allow artists to participate in a greater public art mosaic, but to work safely in our own studios. So cool. So I'm gonna talk about this lady tonight. I'm gonna steal some time on the show and make it happen because it's an amazing gift. Hey, do freshen up for a very special occasion, ladies and gentlemen who watch the vlog. Inflated the balloons, check this out. We got, got mail for all the important people here. Castle, Luke, Ian, Tim. What's this down here? The most important person on the show. Other. Because I'm the other in this household. Well today, that ends because Shimcast has got mail. How does it feel, Luke? I don't care. <laughs> you, he's pissed. Someone get Tim. Someone get Tim. So angry. What would you get? Socks. Hey. No, actually, I got something very cool, ostensibly. 
Do you have your you have your anthrax have gloves? So let me read the address out loud. This is from Bernard Wallace. Thank you, sir, very much. Oh, I didn't I didn't open it. I just tore the label. Wow. I'm gonna we're gonna take. Can you see a fellow person that um, identifies as a leprechaun as well. I don't identify as that. You call me one. It's unbearably racist, and it's why Tim had you leave because you're an HR nightmare. <laughs> Name it. Oh no, I accidentally cut the thing in the package. I don't get mail often, as you can tell. Wait, did he actually do it? Let's take this out. Did you destroy the gift? No, I didn't! Are you sure this wasn't you? Interesting, no, this is actually, first of all, First of all, this is actually a fantastic gift. I was doing a bit here. This is a uh, this is a beautiful, extremely sincere gift. This is to Seamus. Saw you were upset. You didn't have any fan mail to open. One of you saw my need, and you helped fill it. So thank you. So I got this for you. That's like taking a fat girl out to prom because it doesn't have anyone to take her out. Yeah, well guess what happens, buddy? That fat girl loses weight and she's the coolest one at the party because she had to work for her personality and the pretty girls That's didn't. So how does that, that feel? <laughs> one of these days, she takes her hair out of the ponytail and pulls those glasses off and you realize that, that you were an so idiot bad. for not taking her out in the first happy. place. Now, I feel we're, gonna read, we're gonna read, we're gonna read, we're gonna read. And also that's extremely superficial for you to be so concerned about looks. I buddy. feel that's, so personally attacked. Thanks. The St. Genesis of Rome, the patron of comedians. This is fantastic. Look at this. This is a medal to, for St. Genesis. Dude, I'm getting this blessed. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. I didn't know there was a patron saint of comedians. I should have known that. But thank you for enlightening me as well as giving me some fan mail so I could gloat over my friends. And how appropriate that I turned this whole uh, instance into a bit when I was being sent something to validate my comedic pursuits. Thank you so much. God bless you. You are absolutely in my prayers. What? You want a cookie? It's way better than any of the, I don't. I don't want your, your keto cookie. Here. Put, put, have a, have a cookie. put it away. Enjoy your cookie. You think I eat that keto garbage? Come on. <laughs>